Yeah, I probably just ate something. You know what dogs are like. Some aesthetic opinion at the coal factory. I'm doing modular frames. Away. Yeah, it's <laughs> right. Well, I don't know if you just turn round and look to see what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, I'm looking. So at the moment, I'm at, I've taken the ramps from the top floor to the second floor. I mean, it seems a bit drastic to put like a ramp in from here if I hologram this it's it. Give them. what the heck is that going yeah so that's what I'm saying is that like nah. <laughs> that's way too excessive right yeah. just go to one of the rocky outcrops I mean you've already got like the ramp there oh, is that clicking anything useful I don't know you've got the ramp that goes to the glass walkway and all that rocky outcrop, so just bridge to that if you're going to bridge anywhere. Okay. Like, if you were building that in real life, you'd minimize the material you'd use. So you'd be going from, like, rocky outcrop to your factory, and then you'd go from that to somewhere else. Otherwise, it just was, like, floating ramps. end goal is to make turbo motors I think there'll be a more another goal after that I assume Paul did you see the Roman numerals I put on the wall uh mm, nope oh I see what you've done <laughs> You've used power lines to put the floor number on. Lol. That's a good idea. I wish you could light yep. them. Yeah, it would be nice to light them. Hope you've counted basement to zero. I don't think Romans had a zero in their number system. No, I've left that one. So those modular frames mixed with steel makes the two versatile framework which we need for the space elevator. And yeah, we're not worrying about that yet. The rotors and the uh, reinforced iron plate go to the smart plate tank, which is also for the space elevator. And what does the space elevator do with all that stuff? 
just unlock more tiers. Unlocks tier five and six. And then there's also the encased industrial beam, which takes four steel beams and five concrete. Callum, don't worry about it, man. Welcome. I don't need help with anything because I am completely free. Um, iron plates. Well, the whole iron thing is is not working, is it? Because we've brought all the extra iron and we're not actually using it. So, what do we need to make more of? Um, I think we just scale all of it up. Okay, I'll start with the iron plate downstairs. to see once this is up and running like what the demand is or what the supply is of rods and plates these modular frames they've been stored or just like pumped stored. out right so That's we're gonna watch for storage for them then. Before the overflow, before the storage, if you make obviously an adequate amount of storage, if you then put a smart splitter with an overflow and then chuck it into an awesome sink. You know, that awesome sink thing, does it take into account what you put in it or just how much? Yeah, what you put in. 
So, like, if you put a reinforced plate in, it would have a higher value than if you just put in an iron ingot. Correct. Right, the plates and the rods are flowing now. So that's what people were saying. The most valuable item is a turbo rigger motor. But once you've chucked, once you've unlocked all the coupons, once you've unlocked everything with the coupons, like, what are you sending it in there for anymore? What do you get out? If not coupons? Your tickets, and then people build ticket factories to make the, um, get the statues that they have in the shop. I like Formula One color, yes. Alright, how many of these things do we need? Five parts per minute. Rip. Well, that's not going to supply that. It's here at Mark Three rates, is it? Are you using the alternative recipe? Uh, we're using the, uh, I don't know, can't really tell, just to tell you. One reinforced iron plate is all it says. No, it's not the changed recipe then. I don't know. When did we get that? It was one of the first ones we unlocked, I think. It's called bolted plate or something. Bolted iron plate, is it? Mm-hmm. Six and twelve produces one. Three times, more than three times produces three. Yeah, I think we didn't do it at the time because we couldn't ever yeah. keep up with that many screws. That's why we never switched it because the screw requirement was insane. But we could probably switch it now. But it would probably mess up our screw ratios. But we can do it. Let's see what happens. Well, it's that concept of you get three plates for, uh, you know, like 75% more of the time. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch them out and we'll see what happens. SV, thank you for 32 months. How am I doing? Not bad. I've got a painful neck and pups can't stop sneezing, but apart from that, we're doing okay. <laughs> we tell ourselves enough that we're okay, Paul, we're okay. Yeah. I mean, Moorcroft and Sommy are okay, so that's 50% 50, 50 of us. <laughs> Brokaw, thank you for 58 months. Well, obviously Lewis Hamilton, Callum, obviously. Right, let's see what the screws do now. They're coming in, they're coming in on a Mark 1 belt. 250 screws a minute into each machine. What? The heck? Right, okay, so everything needs to be Mark 3 just going into one machine. Uh, the plates have stopped. Why have the plates stopped? I haven't touched it yet, so don't blame me. 90 a minute on the iron plate. My god.
I mean, it's probably the theory that the six machine, have you built six? Like, they would just need to be turned into two and then the quantities would be the same, wouldn't they? Uh, we'll just keep the machines and then we'll work out how to feed the beast. how many machines down it gets them. And did I spy on the corner of one of the first three machines a box of screws sitting on the floor? Um, you did. Pops left that. Wait, Sounds what? right. Wait, what am I being accused of? There's a box of screws on the floor. No, that wasn't where I spotted it. I think there was another one on the next machine further along. Well, that's not me then. Maybe. There's 490 screws and a bunch of plates on the floor here. You just can't None get the of staff. That's and some more screws here. Yeah, that was the one that I spotted. Let <sighs> me just put some in a box. actually next to each machine it's like when i swap the recipe it just spat out some stuff onto the ground oh, okay that's what it seems to have done like every machine's done it but in different places <laughs> I don't... that's just so weird Anyway, yeah, well, the problem is like each machine now needs a fast belt of screws going to it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fast belts of screws to feed these machines. And how many fast belts of screws do you have? Mm. Two? Maybe? I'm not sure, actually. We need to make more. We've got a whole lot of iron coming in now. This is the point. All this iron that's coming in, we're not actually making it into stuff. Why is that? Force plates are not going anywhere now. I'm going to take a guess here and say we're not making enough rods.
I don't know. All the machines seem to be running. Modular frame construction takes a very long time, that's the problem. Yeah, they are they're very, very slow. Yeah, I don't think we've found an alternative recipe Not for yet, it. No. So, me, whereabouts are you, man? On um, floor two of the coal power. Oh, okay. What's up? I was just wondering how you had. Did you have it when you were doing your thing? Did you have a smart splitter? Um, so initially, I. Have you upgraded it to a Mark II Miner or not? Not yet, because I don't have the stuff. Okay, so. I, what I've done is where I built it, there's a, I've made it so as if there was a Mark II Miner down. Yeah, so it was something like. Uh, is it, uh, I think you got like. You had two constructors making quick wire from the two smelters and one of them was just directly straight into the awesome sink and then yeah. the other one was into storage and then a smart split like that so it yeah. was sort of a one of them was dedicated to just throw it in the sink and the other one was storage smart overflow and then into the, the sink but okay. whether you want to store both of them and then put it an overflow into the awesome sink it would do the same job it was just when we when i initially did it we didn't have a smart splitter yeah yeah i think you'd be impressed when you come and see what i've done so be my brain keep working overtime it's not worth overclocking the machines i must suck here I think for 28 months. Finally noticed where the smart mod shows the amount of items being built. Top right. Yeah. Yep, it does. Yeah, the brome, I'd rather save them for the mines. The only caveat is if you've got enough belt speed to take it away. sort of right actually isn't it it's better to underclock something yeah and put more you know put more than you need and then underclock the last one than it is to waste power producing like buffing one of them up right you yep.
Yeah, you got a ton of power shards here. I mean, you're going to find more than you're going to find mines, probably. At that point, you can start using the rest, I guess. Sammy. Hey. The lizard dog was a hack spawn in the slugs for you. Yeah. You can make the game easier with hack with mods. Next pass my way, so we can you come in and check see if I've done the smart, smart, smart splitter right? Yeah, okay, I'll um, I'm just gonna go and grab some iron rods and then I'll be on the way back. No, are the um, iron rods in the basement or are they still not being brought down yet? Yeah, they should be in the basement. Okay, basically, I, I genuinely have spent all stream doing power. Pretty much spent all stream doing iron <laughs> stuff and walls and things. I spent the whole stream blowing my nose and sneezing. Well, I've not really progressed the steel side of it. No, and I think that was the plan for today, wasn't it, Paul? <laughs> and yesterday. I know there was a plan to do um, the copper bit as well, which none of us have looked at. <laughs> Out. Yeah, the copper's like really not as demanding as the iron, is it? No. It's why a lot of people, you, like, we've had the alternative recipe for like the. You can make stuff from copper into like iron products. Uh, so you've twisted that around, have you, pups? Uh, wait, I can't see you on my screen. I'm, I'm at the mine at the moment. Uh, yeah, so if you come. Follow the conveyor belt to where it comes inside the building. I take it, I have to hop on, on the rock at the moment. Uh, you can, or you can go down the ramp and there's a hole in the wall. It's up to you. Okay. Right. But only three of these are on you at the moment, but then I've left capacity to basically double its production. Yeah, okay. And then at the end here is the smart splitter, this one here, and I don't know if I've set it up right. Um, no, you're putting, hang on, which way have you got the, is it that way round? Uh... That's in, that's out, that's out, that's out, right, yeah. So overflow should be centre, Okay. and then like you say, is right should be any, but you can actually put, um, No, that's right. That is right, essentially. Okay. So the theory is, is once... I'm gonna go and grab the stuff ones out of them stories. Yeah. Just check. Once that fills up, I mean, as a, as a really drastic thing, if I take this Mark III belt off... It was only a Mark II, but carry on. Yeah, I thought it was Mark III. No. Yeah, you'll see it goes that way. Yeah. And then if I put... Um, are you sure? I thought it had the rails on it, like a Mark oh, I III. I don't know, so me. It's so taken like, me like an hour just okay. to figure out how I wanted to lay this out. So if I do this, it'll then come down to here, then stop, and then send it that way. Yeah, yeah. Do you like how compact it is? No. 
No. <laughs> I don't like compact factories. I'd rather see. Well, I had to like floor fit spaces. It inside this building. Yeah. It's always a challenge. Isn't I don't count why that goes wonky. And I, I left like so that there's like six of each, so you can double the production when you want to. Yeah, I mean, in theory, that just needs up into a Mark II mine, yeah. and then you can then the rest do it, can't you? Edge, yeah. I just haven't got the stuff for a Mark II miner. Um. Yeah, Brom, that's where you put the radioactive waste in it, on the doggo's backpack. Uh, perhaps if you want to head down to the miner, you'll yeah. just have to re-hook up the belt. Yeah, that's the worries. The storage chest on the outside is full of my stuff while I run quick wire do back and forth quickly. Oh, actually, I can overplace it oh nice so that just the, this belt just needs upgrading on mark 2 now yeah um do you want this overclocked hey, it's up to you man it i've got the facilities to match it so it's up to you right so it's 270 so it's at belt speed okay. yeah nice well 272 and a bit or whatever yeah yeah um, and then, if we're feeling really adventurous, all this quick wire that I've saved. I was just about to do that. I was going to say, I'm just going to dump that into that wire. Uh, oh, power, hang on. But as I tell you, what I did like on that teaser video was the. Um there was like a machine that was spinning a barrel and welding it. Like that little animation looked really cool. Is that game power? I can't tell. It should be. Yes, yeah, powered. There we, there we go. go. Alright, so that's 270. I've got my iron rods and I'll go back to what I was doing. Thank you, sir. Danny Brooks, thank you for 21 months. Mods you're using are the smart mod and the farm mod as you're trying to automate my cellular farming.
At least the rods are moving now. Meep, meep. It's almost time so for adorable puppy to get his kebab, and I hope he has some good ice cream afterwards. Yeah, pups, did you put an ice cream on that order as well after your kebab? Uh, no. Dr. Pepper? No. Somebody else is paying me. What are you doing? I mean, I'm, I can. Look, when you got a cold, some nice ice cream and a kebab. <laughs> Yeah, reinforced iron plate doesn't get absorbed that much. The rods do, and the screws do. The rods definitely. We could just build so many more of these modular frames. Someone explain why I've got no power. Yes. Okay. Hashtag blame Sommy. Assume the top floor has been brought up to standard. What do you mean, Molly? Mostly, yeah. The only thing is, it should have had a ceiling put on for the power connections. Whole row to things at a standstill. That's because they're just backed up in the storage chest doing nothing. Exactly. Until power was back on. Have we need it there yet? You should come and see what I've managed to do in this little space ball. Power's back on. We gotta get rid of all these iron ingots, eh? Trash items all sorts of trash can about me. Yeah, you can just, yeah, you can just bend them though, I guess.
What are you, pups? Uh, you know the new factory that we built? The new smelting array thing? Yeah. I was moving the um, quick wire. Quick like wire? Yeah. Whatever, the quick stuff. <laughs> Another mod for consideration is the diagonal fence mod. Look how neat and tidy this is. Uh, team MM3, thank you for subbing. Welcome. Who are you? Nice. Uh, I should be inside. Oh, there you are. Just a bit. Oh, this is the Catarium wall stuff. Yeah, I moved it all. Look how neat and compact this is. Very nice, it's very nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, you deserve a kebab later. <laughs> Not sure about this hole that we can blatantly fall through. I thought you was a health and safety guy. Well, I run out of rods and I haven't been to the factory to get any. Any more concrete left? I got concrete. Where are you? Oh, well, that's clearly not you. You're just running into a wall. I can see you. I got 57 concrete. Woo! So much. Let me see. I can build a tile with that. Oh, yeah. This needs to be a wall anyway, really. Uh, yeah, I left space for a wall to be put in. I think we're going to need a wall up there. So another wall here is a bit weird. Might put glass here. So is all that stuff out there gone now? Yeah, it was just empty in the container and then it will be dismantled. I guess we can get rid of this weird platform. Uh, what weird platform ping again? No, I'm just thinking how much of this platform we need to leave. Well, once it's empty, you only can get rid of it. I think, like, leave two squares next to the miner, so it's like your ramp still, and then get rid of the rest. Yeah. Also, the, where this, um, this belt runs as well, you need to leave. Yeah. I mean, we could just keep the size, but delete everything off it and put glass or something so you can look down. Team MM3, thank you for your content. Thank you for your support. More crop, are you busy? A little, yes. That's okay. What'd you need, sir? No, I was just gonna deconstruct the waterfall ramp to the oh, coal okay. plant. I swear that auto saved less than 15 minutes ago.
Uh, it's a hot one with Fox. It's a mod called Smart. I really wish I hadn't built that pole right there now. Why would you have built it? Actually, thinking about it, I can clip through it and then move. Um, is the power still on? Uh, yeah. No, I did that right then. Oh, that's annoying. Waterfall hasn't got a ramp in front of it, eh? Nice. You know, building things really far away and really high up is really annoying. Yeah. I swear that giant bouncy walkie thing was just laughing at my designs. The goal of this game is the usual thing, world domination. deliberately a bright color this is the don't build on here color this is a walkway or truckway color see when you get next to me it updates it's weird yeah.
Well, somebody's built a machine right on the walkway. Uh, not me. That, that's your machine, mate. Wait, but I can't even see where you are. So the two squad tiles coming in. This oh, monster. I can it. Hey, God. This monster here. Things in this game you can't actually automate, isn't it? Like a lot of the bio stuff is not properly automatable. Grow flowers with fix it farming. Found your password, Armin. You know what you need, mate? You need a password manager. <laughs> Click and drag. Dude, this paint gun is the worst thing. It like it even slows the rate down that you can paint things. Because you can't go click, 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 click. Because it in between it like reloads lovely job can't paint glass annoyingly pubs yeah where are you? Uh, outside where the abider is. Why is two bits of railing one way and two bits the other, and then on the other side uh -huh. one bit one way and... Uh, I don't know. Like, this bit of rail is, yeah, and then I don't know which way round uh -oh, you are. Oh, it just crashed. Yeah. No, oh. I was just putting a floor tile down, that's all I was doing. Pups deleted a rail. I'd clicked alt to ping, I don't know what Moorcroft was doing. I was putting in a new power system, just like across the ceiling. This game is so unstable. I mean, I was using the mod, to be fair. I was laying out, laying out like 10 pieces of concrete tile, but... And on that note, back to the studio. I wonder how much it's now not done. <laughs> All that painting. Oh. How many crashes today? Four or five? Uh, yeah, five or six. Jeez, Sounds man. about right. Well, I mean, I've personally crashed it three times at least. <laughs> well, DC1, if you don't use mods and don't do multiplayer, chances are you'll be good. Enough to know I should have ordered smart for a while. Lol. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. 
all of my paintings gone. All of the railing, the, the corridor. Oh, God. Oh. Can't currently join because it says four out of four players. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'll do that some other time. <laughs> I can't believe that. I just wasted oh, the last not. 10 minutes of my life. Yeah, can you just look? Is the ramp still in front of the waterfall or not? DC1, they're all set to ultimate. That happened. Oh, you've still got four players in with you, Paul. So I got what? Four players in. I can't join. even join back. It's probably just the epic thing needs to like update itself. Anyway, I think on that bombshell. <laughs> Gone eight o'clock. My next killing. Right, guys, we're gonna call it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun chilling out. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Uh, Pups, Moorcroft. Papa, Moorcroft and Summer. Thank you for joining. No, thank you. Thank you, and you're very welcome. Can we get Thanks a round so of applause for these guys, please? Look at the epic work here. Look at this. It's just legendary. Well, you'll be the architect, Paul, so I think you deserve the credit. I didn't do anything. Yeah, but you're the architect. Yeah. The entire power array is done by Sommy. I mean, he, he built all that. He also crashed our game three times. It's a small price to pay for all that power. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small price to pay when you've got 3.6 gig of power. Exactly. Oh, are you serious, game? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good evening and see you tomorrow. Uh, no, it will be uh, snow running tomorrow. But I will say, if my neck is better, because I don't fancy six hours with this again. Ben GT, get well, pups. Get Aye. well, pups. Get well, pups. I love the way it says it. Pups. It's like somebody throws an ice block down the back of his t shirt when he goes pups. He goes, pups. <laughs> I don't know if it's inflammation, Robo Joe. It's like a muscular thing. It's weird. Anyway. Have a good one. Uh, catch you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>